This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our website, stltest.net. And a problem that I'd like to go over is Advanced Accounting 21D about a partnership disillusion. But this is a case where one of the partners has a loan outstanding, and that's what I wanted to cover. So we have a situation where A and, D, a and B have a partnership. And they share profits and losses unequally. So A gets 60% of profits and losses, B 40%. Here are their capital balances, starting capital balances when we start the problem. As I mentioned, B has a loan from the partnership in the amount of $30,000. And the change that's going on is the partners decide to liquidate the business as of 331x4. And on that date, we have two other balances. We have a cash balance of 50000 and the balance in an account called Other Assets is 500000 And the student was told in the question that the other assets are sold for $440,000, so obviously creating a loss. The question the student was asked was, how much cash does the partner receive, does each partner receive in liquidation? So I made a couple of assumptions here. We know that the asset, the other asset category was sold at a loss. So let's allocate that loss to the partners based on their percentage share of sharing profits and losses. So the loss can be calculated as 500,000 in blue, the cost of the assets, historical cost, less the $440,000 cash they got in green. It's a $60,000 loss. A gets 60% of the loss, blue times green. B gets 40%. And what I did off to the right here was I put in a check figure to make sure that the amounts I allocated in blue add up to $60,000, which is the amount of the loss on sale. If you think about it in terms of a journal entry, we got cash in the door, $440,000. And we are going to lower by debiting. We are going to lower both A and B's capital accounts by the amount of the loss, 36000 24000 And we sum all those up, so we deb get a total debit equals credits. We have a credit to other assets, which we're taking off the books because we sold them. So that other asset balance goes away. So that's entry number one. And you'll see below here that I posted the entry to these T accounts. Debit capital here. Debit capital, number one. We get cash in the door of 440000 That increases by debiting the cash account. Other assets and asset account gets credited to get reduced. Step two is let's remove that loan that, the, that partner B took out by taking the loan receivable off the books because if we are a partnership and we loan something to a partner that's a receivable that's an asset we're going to reduce the loan receivable by crediting and we're going to debit to reduce b's capital by debiting that's entry number two b's capital thirty thousand dollar debit <clears throat> and we also see a new, another t account here at the bottom b loan receivable at a beginning balance of 30000 when we have the loan on the books to the partner, it's a receivable, and entry number two credited it to get rid of it, so it, loan receivable now has a zero balance. Entry number three is we're going to end the partnership, and I've mentioned in other videos that the last entry, once you've finished everything else in a partnership liquidation, is to reduce by debiting the capital accounts and pay all the partners by crediting cash. So 314 and 176 are the capital balances here. If I click on the B balance, you see how it's the beginning credit balance less the two debits to get you to 176. A's capital balance is the beginning 350,000 less the $36,000 loss, 314. So we debit A's account to bring the account balance to zero. We debit B's account, 176. It brings this account balance to zero. 
Here's the cash activity, which added up to 490,000. We debit, I'm sorry, we credit cash, 490,000, so that balance goes to zero. So what you see at the end, if you've done it correctly, is, is that all the T accounts adjust to zero, and we wrote checks to all the partners, so cash went down by crediting, and capital accounts go down by debiting, and that's going to be your last entry when you end a partnership. So what we did in this video was to dissolve a partnership. We had unequal sharing of profits and losses, and we also had to deal with a loan to a partner, $30,000 loan, and we removed that receivable by debiting to remove the capital balance for the amount of the loan, and we also took a loan receivable off the books for the partnership. So that is a discussion of a partnership dissolution with a partner loan. That's as far as we'll get on that topic. Remember on the website, we have the all-in-one book, the cost accounting for dummies book, the video textbooks, which currently we have two video textbooks, Accounting for Investments and Advanced Accounting. You get an MP4 with all the videos, all the Excel documents, a practice exam in Excel that's also explained in a video. And so that's out there as well. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.